Special heute Mega Death in Mosch. Und wie ihr sicher schon gesehen habt, bin ich nicht alleine. Ich habe mir Unterstützung gesucht, denn viele von euch wissen, dass ich. How are you? The song is about to be in our sea. It's called Hook and Mouth! Often read the facts and facts 
after the gig here in Essen. It's the first gig of your headlining tour, the festival tour. You uh, enjoyed the gig here? Yeah, it was great. Uh, the people in Essen have treated us really great every time we've been here. This is our second time here. And like I said during the show tonight, my mother was born here in Essen. And uh, when I came here the first time, she told me a lot about it over here. And and when I came over here, I noticed that she was right. And when I went back and told her about it, I said, listen, next time I go to Essen, I'm going to bring you there because it's great. It's everything you said it was. And so I flew her over here and she came and saw the show tonight. And, and um, it was really good. I, I think she really enjoyed being here because uh, she was when she was driving around during the day today. She went to Cologne and around all this area and um, seeing how good, even though there is a language barrier between myself and the audience, she, she knows that these kids really are, you know, I mean, she's full-blooded German. She was born here and she sees all these kids. She speaks German fluently and she's just going like, hey, you know, you, you're not only good with people in, in America, you know, these kids over here like your music too. Well, you're not so, you know, such a problem child after all, you know what I mean? <laughs> also, ich habe ihn gefragt danach, wie ihm der Gig gefallen hat. Das war der erste Gig auf der Headlining Tour jetzt von Megadeth. Und äh, er sagte, gerade dieser Gig in Essen hat ihm sehr gefallen, da seine Mutter hier geboren ist in Essen. Er hat es den Leuten auch erzählt, live auf der Bühne. Ich weiß noch nicht, ob sie es verstanden haben, aber seine Mutter ist hier geboren und er hat schon mal hier gespielt. Dann hat er gesagt, die Stadt ist riesig hier, also Essen. Und da sie hier geboren ist, seine Mutter, hat er gesagt, beim nächsten Mal, wenn wir hier spielen, dann werde ich mit. Er hat seine Mutter mitgebracht und äh, sie hat sich gefreut, dass sie wieder hier sein durfte in Essen. Hat schon eine kleine Rundtour gemacht durch Köln und äh, hat mir erzählt, dass hier viele nette Leute wohnen. Er hat es selber auch mitgekriegt. Die Leute hier haben tierisch mitgemacht in Essen. So ein kleines Heimspiel, so halb ich dann. Er, seine Mutter ist volle Deutsche, also ist in Essen hier geboren. Er ist also ein halber Deutscher. Um, do you get any other lines between uh, America, uh, Dave Mustaine and Germany? Or just your, that your mother is born here? You mean, do I have any kids? <laughs> do I have any kids that are German? <laughs> I know, no. My mother's German. My father's French Irish and. Um, That's about it, you know, my mom, my dad, it only took two to make me. <laughs> also, sein Vater ist französisch-irisch, seine Mutter ist deutsch. But you were born in America. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Um, the package from tonight, the line up, the bill, there were on the bill the first opening band was Sanctuary. You produced the band. Was it your wish or your pleasure to let Sanctuary play in this bill? Well, when I had met them, I had said that I would help them out, you know, with some performances, and we took them out on a few shows, and they were doing really well. So our agent hasn't really heard anything bad about them, so he's let them continue with us. Also Sanctuary haben wir den Gig hier eröffnet mit den vier Bands und äh, er hat Sanctuary, die LP, Refuge the Night, ja produziert. Ich glaube, ob es sein persönlicher Wunsch war, dass die hier spielen. Und dann meinte er, ja, es war also sein Wunsch. Er wollte dieser Band helfen, die Band soll dann wenig hochkommen. Er hat die Band produziert und hat sie mitgenommen hier auf Tour und das ist eigentlich der beste Start auch für diese Band. Junior, you got two, two new members in the band now, mm -hmm. Chuck and Jeff. Right. Um, I saw the gig live and I saw the band is now tighter than ever before. Is it like this? It's like... It's like family. I mean, sometimes I think about it, and it's almost like this is Jeff and Chuck were in the band from the very beginning, and it, it's cool because we we all get along a lot better now. I mean, there's like a, there's a brotherhood amongst us, you know what I mean? And I think everybody can see on stage that we're having a good time, we're having fun instead of spitting on each other. Are they brothers still fight. <laughs> yeah. still fight. Ich habe nochmal nachgefragt nach den neuen Man Bandmitgliedern, Chuck und Jeff, sind ja gekommen für Chris und Gar, die ausgestiegen sind aus Megadeth und befragt, dass also der Eindruck von dem Live-Gig, den ich hatte, war, dass die Band fester zusammen ist und besser zusammenspielt als hier zuvor. Und er meinte, also mein Eindruck ist völlig bestätigt, dass sie fühlen sich, die beiden Daves, als wenn die beiden schon immer in der Band wären, also Jeff und Chuck, und ähm, wollen es sicherlich auch weiter so haben. Is, is this definitely Megadeth's line-up now? Yeah. This is definitely the line-up. I mean, we, went, we wouldn't have made any change until and got new people into the band unless we knew that they were going to be the people to be in the band. I mean, we don't want to, otherwise we would have hired session musicians and that's not the way we operate, you know? So it's like, and it was kind of cool because we didn't audition a whole bunch of people. I mean, Dave and I set our minds to what we were going to do. We went out, we got them and we, and this is it. This is the way it's going to stay now. Mm -hmm. Also, sie wollten keine großen Proben machen mit weiteren Leuten, die dann spielen sollten in der Band, sondern sie haben die angetestet, die beiden sind auch endgültig drin und werden auch in der Band bleiben. Um, about the new album, So Far, So Good, So What? Uh, you produced so what? <laughs> so far, so good, so what? You produced it um, together with Tom Laney, I think. Paul. Paul Laney. And um, was it? What was your work on the production? 
It was das Paul's work on the production. He slept and I worked. <lacht> also ich habe ihn gefragt, er hat ja mit Paul Laney zusammen die letzte Platte produziert, so fast, so good, so what. Was nun seine Arbeit war und was Paul Laneys Arbeit war. Er hat gearbeitet, Paul Laney hat geschlafen. Is it true? It's the truth. Well, see, there was one part in one song where on, on Anarchy, where I say right now in the beginning, uh, we had that on a machine where it just recorded one track, the vocals, just right now. And we hooked speakers up out in the room while he was sleeping out there. <laughs> and then we hit the button, it goes, right now, really loud. And, and uh, he jumped up and he goes, oh, my neck. <laughs> Also er meinte auch, dass der Paul Lenny sich mal das Genick gebrochen hat. Als wir im Studio aufgenommen haben, haben sie diesen einen Track Right Now im Lied Anarchy in the UK. Haben sie in sein Schlafzimmer gestellt, die Boxen voll aufgedreht und er hat sich mal das Genick gebrochen, als er aus dem Bett gefallen ist. Äh, Anarchy in the UK, gutes Stichwort. Es ist cover version von den Sex Pistols, aber der Text ist nicht so ganz der, wie er im Original ist. The lyrics from Anarchy in the UK, you changed a little bit, why you did it? Because I, I asked Steve Jones and I don't think he knew what he was doing. <laughs> Anarchy in German A. <laughs> no, oh, you heard that tonight, yeah, huh? That. Anarchy in Germany. <laughs> What's actually the reason for it that you don't use the original lyrics? They are the original lyrics. There's only like four or five words that aren't right. No, it's not that they're not right, they're just revised. <laughs> in, in our way. <laughs> There's such thing as a council in, in America. And that's what it says, and I changed it to cunt-like tendencies. <laughs> <laughs> and you changed it to anarchy in the USA. Yeah, because we were recording in the USA. <laughs> also der Grund, warum nun Anarchy in the USA in dem Text vorkommt, ist, weil sie in den USA aufgenommen haben. Um, ihr habt ja auf jeder LP eine Coverversion. Auf every um, LP got a cover version. Wird auf der nächsten LP auch eine sein? Wann habt ihr schon geplant? Will it be on the next LP also a cover version? Yeah, we're gonna do a cover version of a Megadeth song. You see this right here? This is what causes us to do cover songs. Would you maybe cover an old song? Uh, well, we might we might do a new version of. Uh, One of the songs off of the first album, just to reiterate our hold on the on you know the whole scene because you know that music was really influential for us to develop our style and and songs that are on this album, I mean set the world fire was the first song I ever wrote, mm -hmm. so no one can say that this album is like new music and we've sold out because I mean. I've had that music for like three years now. Five. <laughs> five, okay, five, okay. Und das ist auch interessant. Also die neuen Stücke auf der neuen LP sind alle so drei bis vier Jahre alt. Und Set the World of Fire, das Opening-Stück von der neuen LP, so far so good, so what, ist sogar eines der ersten Stücke, was er überhaupt geschrieben hat. Wahnsinn. Dann kommen noch äh, mehrere Stücke jetzt von früher oder auf die nächste LP oder willst du dann jetzt neues Material auf die nächsten Platten verarbeiten? Would you, uh, have you got more from the old stuff? Would you record or record on the next LP? As a matter of fact, I have a song that we're doing right now that I wrote before I was in Metallica. Uh-huh. It's a Metallica track? Huh? Metallica track? No, it was from before Metallica. Before Metallica. Also ein Stück, den Sie jetzt noch aufnehmen, ein neuen Song, ist ein Stück zuvor seiner Zeit mit Metallica. Ähm, die Zeit mit Metallica, du bist auf Metallica mehr, mehr oder weniger rausgeworfen worden. I think they throw you out of Metallica, is that right? They oh, threw me out? Yeah? Well, you know, <laughs> I, I uh, kind of earned that myself. I slugged James in the mouth and he, th and, uh, he, he <laughs> What would you do if something <laughs> to you? Also wie gesagt, hat der James Hetfield einen aus dem Maul gehauen und ist auch rausgeflogen. Ähm, sind zur Zeit immer noch irgendwelche Streitereien zwischen Dave Mustaine und Metallica? Any, any bad words, a bad situation between Metallica and Dave Mustaine today? No. No? No. And uh, I heard James Hetfield was one of your best friends. You lived together, you drank together, you were on the beach together. That's no. pushing it. <laughs> That's no. pushing it. Also heute Nachmittag haben wir erzählt, er hat mit James Hetfield zusammen, zusammen gewohnt. Sie haben zusammen gesoffen, sie haben zusammen am Strand gesessen, sie sind besoffen Auto gefahren, jetzt will er das abstreiten. Why do you say the truth now? The truth, um, me and James went to a bar the other night together and drank together and... It was by the beach. <laughs> it was by the beach even, together and uh, it was just... It, it really reminded me of the old days quite a bit, you know. I, I, uh, just, it was kind of weird. It was, it was weird in a sense, but, you know, it felt good. Just had to change guitars real fast. So how the fuck are you tonight, huh?
You know, last time we were here in Essen, I told everybody that my mother was born here. This time, I flew her over here to see how fucking crazy you guys are. I'll tell you, she cried when she found out she was coming back home to Essen. And I, after seeing this place in the daylight, I know why. This place is a fucking great country. Anyways, this song is uh, a single that we just released about a little baby. She was only six years old and he buried her alive. Mary Jane.
night to fill is my lonely cell. <laughs> it's blocked up by the key that locks the door to this hell. The police, they wanted me. Devil's Island!
stage, you're doing or you're performing out in the studio with on the lead guitar and the lead vocals. Isn't it a little bit quite difficult for a musician, both lead vocals and the lead guitars? Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it just depends on how drunk I get, you know. <laughs> No, actually, I, I think it is quite a challenge, and I've always been one to look death in the face and spit, and so I'm not afraid of taking on things that are way above my ability, because I'm usually not going to do it right anyway, so at least I try the best, you know. Mm. Also, ich habe ihn immer darauf angesprochen, weil er spielt Leadgitarre mega Megadeth und er macht ein Lead Gesang für Megadeth, ob das beides auf zu vereinen ist warum nicht eins alleine machen sollte. Er meinte, das ist kein Problem. Es kommt darauf an, wie besoffen er ist auf der Bühne. Das meinte er nicht so ganz ernst. Nein, er meinte, er meinte es so, er ist halt gut genug als Musiker. Er schafft es beides und wird auch beides weiterhin machen. Junior, what will come after the European tour now? After the German gigs? Sleep. <laughs> For like a month. No, we're going um, to go to Japan in July. And I think we're going to play in Hawaii, possibly in August. And we just uh, we just got confirmed a couple of days ago actually to to be on the Castle Donington mm -hmm. festival, and we may do another festival or two while we're over you know while we're over in the UK at that time, and after that we're probably just going to end up doing some more dates like towards the end of the year, um, do some more dates in in the United States, mm -hmm. do some more touring over there. Also nach der Europatour, die jetzt gerade läuft, da werden sie nochmal nach Japan gehen, dann Hawaii, England noch ein paar Gigs, Castle Donington werden sie spielen und dann wahrscheinlich wieder ein paar Gigs in den USA. Ja, ähm, nochmal ganz kurz auf die Produktion zurück von der letzten LP. Gemixt wurde das Ganze von Michael Wagner, Michael Wagner. Es ähm, war ja nicht so ein bisschen ängstlich vielleicht so, dass Michael Wagner das Ganze ein bisschen kommerziell machen kann, weil er hat ja zum Beispiel auch Bonfire produziert. Uh, Michael Wagner did the mix on the last album, So Fast, So Good, So What. Didn't you, was a bit, little bit afraid of it, that he going maybe in the commercial way, commercial line? What going to, to soft the sound? His version is totally metal compared to Paul Annie's <laughs> version. <laughs> Paul Annie had it sounding like Def Leppard, and I know regardless how good the songs were, that if someone would have heard us sounding like Def Leppard, they would have went like, what's going on? Also Paul Lanny, sein co produzent hat versucht, das Ding zu mischen. Das klang so ein bisschen zu Def Leppard, also zu weich das Ganze. Jetzt hat Michael Wagner das gemischt. Und er ist total zufrieden damit. Er meint, die Produktion ist so heavy geworden, wie sie werden sollte. Um, ja, was wird in der Zukunft von Megadeth zu erwarten sein? What will be in the future of Megadeth? The lineup, I think it's tight now. Will be there like this now, the lineup. The music will maybe change a little bit. What you said. <laughs> no, um, I think we're just going to keep growing. You know, I mean, we're definitely going to get older. So, you know, we might as well grow old while we're growing. Also, er meint, er wird noch älter und er wird noch erwachsen. Musikalisch weiß noch nicht, ob sich was ändern wird. Ich danke euch für das Interview. Dave? What? Yes. Nochmal Dave? Junior? Yo. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. The song is about God, about the system of things, about getting to work on time, about paying your bills, about having feelings, about being kind, about not being kind, about being the Chancellor of Germany. Do you know what I'm talking about, Essen? But for those of you that don't, we'll give you another clue with the bass guitar, David Ellison!
put a price on peace? <laughs> I'd like to thank all you good people for coming down here tonight. Thank you. All right, cut the shit already. We want to play. This is a song that was recorded by the Six Pistols. Anarchy!
guys to drive careful getting home tonight so we can see you next time we come back. Good fucking night!